Hello and welcome my beautiful Pisces, Brenda here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast, which means not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you, but if it does, run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. As well, if you want clarity, accuracy and answers to any personal questions, all that information, my prices and how to contact me via my website in order to book an appointment is all there for you to view. So let's get on with no more further ado. I have blessed my cards and shuffled them and let's see what spirit is going to give you this week, my beautiful Pisces. You have the Eight of Pentacles. You have the beautiful Six of Wands. Coming in the center position, you have the Lovers. You have next coming in the Hermit. And your final card is that of the Three of Wands. Coming in next, let's see what we have for clarifiers here. Spirit. You have the High Priestess. You have the Hangman. You have in center position, you have the Fool. You have the Nine of Swords. And you have the Five of Swords. Okay, let's see what's going on here with you, Pisces, this week. And your All Over Energy card is that of the King of, King of Rods, staying focused. Okay, major. Okay, so the first card you've got is the King of Rods, and that is your All Over Energy. This is about you maintaining stability, staying focused, going for what you want. You may have some really big uh, high hopes of something and accomplishing something. Pisces. You are the sign that is quite intuitive, and but you're also quite pensive about things. You get up in your head, you do that stinking thinking, you start worrying when things aren't happening, or you start to get caught up in your, in your, in your head in imagination and thinking things won't work out. Stay focused. Go towards the goal. Don't be, be consistent. Don't be afraid to keep forging forward. Go big. Uh, this is the card that says go big or go home. Don't play it small, Pisces. You have the ability to shine your light out there and create success for yourself. So no matter what obstacles uh, and barriers that you might find along this week, and these, and they're just look at them as speed bumps. They're only going to slow you down, but they're not going to halt you and stop you. So stay focused and keep going towards your goals this week. Coming in with your first energy card, you do have the card of a fork in the road. You may be uh, confused and in the process here of trying to make some sort of a decision here. And you might be in the middle here, okay? Time to make a decision, considering the consequences as you get ready and prepare to act on it. And also, you know, the choices that you're making right now. Every choice has a consequence, right? And you, you may be at this fork in the road and you're being asked to come to and make a decision here at this time. And, you know, you're reaching a moment of truth here. So commit yourself. Go for what you want. Don't don't give up. Uh, why do you need to become and what you need to become and who you need to become and what you believe in is definitely going to come into prosperity here, come into fruition, going to happen. So it's just, as I said, a speed bump here. Don't give up. Keep moving forward towards your goal. Something might not be happening as fast as you want. And maybe you're waiting to hear about something. Maybe you're waiting for that phone call. Maybe you're waiting for that email, that text, uh, that that uh, that call back on something that you've acted on. So don't give up. You've got all kinds of choices and decisions to busy yourself with in the meantime. And keep yourself moving forward in a positive direction. Don't lose sight of the goal you're going for here. Now you do have the main man. And uh, this is all of this could be uh, someone very important in your life. This person has a high status. They're respected in the community and in society. And they could have prominence, abundance, and wealth. This could be somebody coming into your life, somebody new that maybe you're meeting. This could be a new perspective love uh, coming into your life, a relationship. Or this could be somebody you're dealing with. Maybe you're dealing with your bank or your accountant, your financial advisor, uh, investment. Uh, investments that you're making. Um, you could be dealing with this individual this in this time coming in. Uh, he could represent things to do with, you know, your taxes or investments or government, uh, anything like that. Your next card you have is the, the whip and broom. So don't go beating up on yourself, Pisces. Don't be too hard on yourself, but also beware of someone around you. The energy of someone around you, they might have a short fuse, okay? There could be a conflict coming in. And this person might want to pick a quarrel or an argument with you uh, about something. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. But don't beat up on yourself. Uh, you know, stand your guard. Uh, pull back because Pisces you're not confrontational you do not you're that elusive fish 
you'll just turn around and swim in the other direction. It's not worth sometimes when, when Pisces, you're so intuitive, you look at the whole picture and you say, is this worth the risk of losing this situation or a no-win situation? If I turn around and I go the other way, I, I have time to concentrate on it and to be able to process it better. So just beware. This is a, something that happens, could be very fast. Uh, you know, it could be something that happens to you quickly. I want you to be aware of, of, you know, just paying attention here to the energy around you. Perhaps you have to think about a situation in a kinder, more optimistic way. But be careful. There could be somebody around you that wants to pick an argument with you this week. Uh, and, you know, rise above it, Pisces. You have that ability to have that uh, that that make that decision to rise above it and also for those of you that are beating up yourself blaming yourself for something having regrets about something Pisces let it go you're the ultimate worrier and you you get up in your head and you start doing that stinking thinking and it doesn't help you in any way so cast aside all those worries because I do think your reading is going to be positive here coming in in your first row with your tarot reading you have the eight of pentacles and you have that beautiful high priestess being able to be more uh, to be more uh, attuned into your own psyche, uh, being able, because you are very psychic, Pisces, and empathic. I think you're, you are doing some research here. You're changing things up. You're making sure that you have your book of knowledge and, you know, your Akashic records, you know, at access here to understand the journey that you're on right now. Trust your instincts. Trust your intuition right now. Uh, don't be afraid to delve into things in the background here. Find out and do your research to find out about something. Eight of Pentacles says you're working on your profession. You're working very hard. Uh, maybe you're doing research. Maybe you're taking courses. Uh, you know, maybe that's what you're doing here, the research, that, so that you can get a higher, uh, higher status on your resume to go out after that perfect job that you want, your career. This is a card that says keep moving in that direction. You're perfecting your gift, your craft. Uh, your trade. Uh, this is a good card of good karma when it comes to your your finances. Trust your intuition. Your intuition. Keep doing that research. Listen to that little voice of reason. Now coming in next, great card. Six of Wands, victory after hard work and struggle. And the hangman, it may be taking you time. You may still be trying to process something that's happening here and waiting for something to come in. Uh, the Six of Wands says you're going to find great victory after you've worked and done all this blood, sweat, and tears you've applied to a situation. Pisces, you deserve the rewards that you've got. You may have felt that in the past you've been hanging in limbo. You haven't been moving in a direction that you want. You felt that you were in a fork in the road here uh, in the past. But I think, you know, this was a temporary situation. And for some of you, you're going to definitely see that when you get down, you're going to hit the ground running. You've had to make some sacrifices along the way, Pisces, to get to this point of, of victory. Uh, but definitely now you're going to be getting this applaud, recognition, seeing traffic being generated to you in a positive way, perhaps clientele, business sales, anything like that. Uh, you know, getting recognition from peers and family members and those that matter to you in your life, being able to be successful, almost getting an award uh, for something here. That you've done okay in the center position Pisces you've got the lovers and you've got the fool card um, you may be taking a leap of faith here somebody new could be coming into your life that you never thought you would be attracted to very different keep your mind open be open-minded to change and differences that can be very beautiful you may be faced with making this choice to take this leap of faith to go towards a, a relationship uh, a partnership of some sort in your life but uh, take your mind with you and not just follow your heart because this is something on a heart level, an emotional level. Also, this might be determined around another person. And you may have to, the choices and decisions you make may be determined around this individual. But the universe says you're, it's your time. If you, do the, if you do the research, if you are, you know, you find out, you share a lot of dialogue and communication with this individual, you will get to know them in order to partner up with them, whether in love or in business. Once you do that, you'll be ready to take this new change, this new shift, this this um, this leap of faith, Pisces. Uh, this is wonderful. As long as you do the research, as long as you prepare yourself. Uh, you know, as I say, don't jump off that cliff without checking your parachute before. But there are some major decisions here that require you being balanced and level-headed here. Trusting that inner voice of wisdom here as you move through a new relationship or partnership in love or business. Coming in next, you've got the Hermit and you've got the Nine of Swords. 
I think for a while you felt constrained, held back. Uh, you tended to worry as you are a worrier, Pisces. Uh, let it go. This is holding you back from moving forward. Um, I think you're thinking about something going around and around and around in your head about a situation, leaving you feeling that you're at a fork in the road and you can't make a decision. But I think if you just breathe in, breathe out, do more meditative work, Pisces. You need that because you, you even though you're the fish, you're very sensitive, you tend to run at a higher vibration. So many Pisces are 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 psychic and empathic and have that ability to run at a higher level of vibration it's time to breathe in and breathe out pisces relax take yourself to that space and place and time of solitude and silence uh contemplate and think about what it is you want ask spirit to take away your worries and your concerns it's not worth worrying about worry never helped anything or solved a problem i think that you're going to be able to get the answers you need tapping into the right resources the right people uh, and the right mentors. You also have this ability to shine your light out there, Pisces, and to shine the light for other people, to help mentor and help other people as well. Beautiful. Don't worry. You've got the Three of Wands, uh, and you've got the Five of <laughs> the five of swords of course this is you struggling again being at a crossroads you don't you know do you go this way or do you go that way be careful it you know you might be in a situation that's a no-win situation you may have come up against some of uh, uh some you know someone had wanted to pick an argument with you that wanted to uh lock horns with you and pisces the best thing you can do is just walk away listen to it and walk away from it uh, you know, it's not worth bent, bent, fighting back and forth and arguing because at the end of the day, you it, it's a no-win situation. You might win the war, but then, you know, you win the battle but, or win the war but lose the battle. There's always sacrifices and things that can happen that can damage a situation around you if you pursue this. So pick your battles wisely and that, I think, in itself will, will allow you to heal through or this situation to just disappear. You've got the Three of Wands, which is waiting for your ship to come in, watching. You've done something. Commend yourself. You've come a long way, Pisces, uh, with what you've been doing thus far. You may still feel that you're in between and you're in a fork in a road and that things aren't moving as quickly as you want them to. But, Pisces, be patient. Just keep moving forward. Don't be afraid to go after what you want. Stay focused here on your next goal, on the next process that, that and plan that you, you need to go towards. This is a card that says you're going to get it, Pisces, but you need to be focused and keep open-minded and keep going towards that goal. Don't back down. So all over message here is being focused uh, on the situation and the right things this week. So walking away from no-win situations, realizing that, uh, you know, all things will work out at the end of the day if you're patient. Well, I wish you a great remainder to today, Pisces, and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. Always know I send you lots of love and many blessings, and I'll see you soon. And for those that hit the join button and became members, know that you will get your extended reading with this Pisces reading soon. See you soon. Mm -hmm.